guys, welcome back to Calico. We are back from Thanksgiving break with an extra special episode for this week's Thursday Three. As you can see, we have kicked off the holiday season here at Calico. We have our full selection of Christmas trees as well as you can kind of see behind me, handmade wreaths and lots of other really great goodies. But really, most importantly, we have trees and we're really excited about real Christmas trees. We've always carried these. It's one of our favorite traditions here. And so this week, rather than giving you a product to plant and a paver, I'm going to give you guys three reasons to buy a real tree this year. First up, we're going to talk about how it's great for the environment. Um, I think it's a pretty common misconception that when you buy a real Christmas tree, you're contributing to deforestation, but that's just not true. Christmas trees are grown as crops just like corn and wheat and apples. So when you buy a Christmas tree, you're actually supporting a small farmer. Typically when a tree is cut down, that farmer will plant two to three more trees to replace it. An average five to six foot Fraser fir, kind of like the ones you see behind me, grow over a span of about 10 years. And in those 10 years, they offer the same benefits to their local environment that regular forests do. They offer wildlife habitats for birds, squirrels, and lots of other critters, as well as also providing cleaner air, the same things that a natural forest would do. And then when they get big enough, we cut them down, we bring them home, and new trees are planted to start the cycle all over again. It's super sustainable, and the best part is at the end of this tree's life, rather than ending up in a landfill, there's actually a lot of really great local and national tree recycling programs to turn them into things like mulch or burning fuel. Uh, I'm actually going to drop a few links to some local towns tree recycling that you'll be able to see at the bottom of this video. And a lot of this you kind of have to take in comparison to the alternative, which is a plastic tree. Plastic trees are super wasteful in terms of their production. They usually are manufactured overseas, which means that they create even more waste while being transported here. And at the end of their life, they end up in a landfill where they don't really give back to the environment. So number one, real trees, great for the environment. Number two is that they're actually great for your local economy. As long as you're buying a tree from a small nearby business, you're gonna be supporting what's most likely a small tree farmer as well as your small local business. And that has a really big impact, especially on a year like this. Did you know that for every $100 you spend within your zip code, $68 of that actually stays within the community? That's huge compared to the big, big box stores. Plus, big box stores tend to import their trees, even their real trees from places like Oregon and North Carolina, which means that those trees are actually gonna be a lot older than the trees we have at a place like Calico. Our trees are from the Northeast, they're from less than 200 miles away, and they were cut the day we got them in. That means they're super fresh. Whereas if you're picking something up from a big box store, it might have been cut at the beginning of November, and that means you're going to see like a lot of needles drop before Christmas Eve. So, reason number two, they help you support your local economy. And the last reason is just sentimentally speaking, we don't really think you can compare with a real tree. This year, Christmas is gonna look pretty different, but one of the things we love about having this every year, and one of the things we love about it the most this year, is that this is a Christmas tradition that you can practice safely, socially distantly. As you can see, we're outside. It's one of the most low risk situations you can be in in terms of retail at this time of year. And it's a tradition that you guys can still do this year with your family. And then most of all, we just don't really think that fake trees can really compete with the smell and the look of a real tree. I mean, is there really any other way to really get in the Christmas spirit than to really smell like a Fraser fir at home? We don't think so. So anyways, to summarize, better for the environment, better for your local economy, and also just like better for your spirit this time of year. We hope to see you guys. We have new winter hours, which I'll also be posting below the video. And uh, we hope to see you guys before the end of the holiday season. Stay safe, everybody, and have a great week. We'll see you next week.